So, welcome to Jack Whelan v Gareth Hibbert. This should be a very good game. Don't expect a lot of missing here. Yeah, I wouldn't be expecting many misses here. Except for Gareth's misses. Hey. Oh, very good. <laughs> Just bring up the comments so we can see who's uh, who's saying what. So do you use this for watching the comments on the game? Okay. Um, and then use this so that you'll be able to see, for instance, overhead camera angle, so you can okay. so you can see patterns so in the walls and stuff. Jack must have won the lag. Break break off. Broke off. Yep. So, commentating on this game is myself, Jakob Tongalon, and none other than Viv Brusco. Good mo good afternoon. It is good afternoon. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Because it's dark in here. You can't really tell wh what time of day it, day it is at all. It always happens at pool camps. It just goes from one day into the next, yeah. doesn't it? carries on. Yeah. I mean, we, we were in here playing until about half past three, four o'clock in the morning. It just didn't even feel like it. <laughs> you mad fool. <laughs> and then on the way home, um, Dan's car, as it's going around the roundabout just up the road, um, the wishbone snapped just completely out of the blue, not even going into a pothole or anything like that. Wishbone snapped, CV joint popped out, one wheel's facing one way and every, all the others are facing Ooh. straight. Oh dear. So, a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, all fun and games. Here's Jamie. So, we're also joined by uh, Jamie Simmons, Mr. Satnav. Mr. Roadmaps here. Roadmaps. <laughs> Apparently needed them updated slightly this morning. I forgot me uh, A to Z, mate. <laughs> I thought it was all automated with you. Ra random plots. Yeah, well, the ba <laughs> battery ran out today. <laughs> so, get showing the stream, peeps. And uh, so will I. So, Gaz is on reds. Is that right, Jamie? He is indeed, and yep. the reds uh, all spread quite nicely. So you want to uh, take this one out and get the, get one on the scoreboard. Got a fancy guys getting these. You want to have a guess at the pass? Which way would you go? Hmm. Well, to be honest, they're quite open, so. There's a couple of different ways, but yeah, he's playing this one first, and don't blame him. Just trying to keep it simple. It's best to look where your hardest balls are and trying to figure out how to get on them first and get them out of the way. Leave the easy ones till the end. He's probably going to leave that one over the middle. Uh, to get on the black? Possibly, yeah. You've played on this table. How is this table playing? It actually plays really nice, yeah. Really, really nice. I mean, so do the other ones as well, so... Sometimes, um, in these competitions, I mean, the lighting's the same here, but in other competitions, the lighting's different, so the stream table does play slightly different, doesn't it? But Absolutely, yeah. I've, I've found that in other competitions, especially uh, when I played at the Nationals in Yarmouth. I had a few games on the main table. I was playing really well. When I went on the stream table, it sort of caught me out. It was a lot faster, and it's nicer to play on, but it can catch you out for a few frames. But not here, they all look very similar. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, they all play really nice. There's a lot of pressure on the stream table as well, so it is hard to yeah. get into it and settle down. I did struggle last night, but I played today, although I lost today, I felt so much better. Played that nice, guys. I did, I did watch your match last night, I was very, very impressed. I've never seen you play before. Yeah, I was quite. I was quite lucky. Craig wasn't on his uh, A game. I don't even think he was on his B game either. So maybe not. But you still had to put him, didn't you? You still had to absolutely do yeah. the work. Simple dropping in the middle for one nil. There we are. One on the board for Gaz. Change 
the overhead camera angle there. Right. right. You can change to the lower camera angle there. Um, wouldn't worry about the other ones. <laughs> um, and then press back to game when you want the other ones. Hmm. I don't know about giving me buttons to press, Jacob. <laughs> okay, so second frame is, uh, I think it might be Gaz to break here. Gaz is using a braking QG. Do you, do you use one? I actually don't. Um, personally, I don't believe in too much but everyone's different I'm sure they work for people who do use them if people use it to protect their tip then I could uh, see that but I actually prefer breaking my own cue I feel like I hit it more accurate and it's a lot more it's about technique is it break do you think really it might be a, something in your head about using a break cue sometimes yeah possibly and I know some people use them just to protect their cue so I, I, you know yeah. fair play for that but other people might use them and everything they think they get a better split and that's what they feel then I'm know. actually just yeah. selling my break cue for oh that yeah. very reason, I bought one to protect my cue. Um, I've got a John Paris, love it. Mm -hmm. um, it play with an eight mil tip, so I wanted to protect it. And uh, I, I found to begin with, yeah, it was great battering ram to wallop the brake with. But I'm actually finding that I break better with a bit more control. Concentrate. So you've got your techniques possibly got yeah. better. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. It is timing, isn't it, break? Is that really? more control with your own cue, you find? Yes. Yeah, no, that's, and I couldn't exactly get that with the break cue. That's exactly what I found. Your own cue is your playing cue. You, you're more accurate without any cue. So I found I hit the break a lot better with my own cue. Yeah. Yeah, fully agree. When I did get my break cue, I only ever had three breaks with it, and they all went dry, and that's, I never used it again. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so Gaz is on a reds again, I think, his time. Have we got any score predictions for people watching the stream? Anyone want to put your predictions up? It's a 50-50 game this one in a lot of people's eyes. I think the odds are the same, aren't they? Yeah, the odds. With the, uh, bet with the bookie. Yeah, the odds are exactly the same for this game, so. Let's have a look. Taking a minute to load up the comments. I know Gaz is at the table and looking good, but I'm going to go for Jack in this game. I'm going to go for a decider. 11-10. So, Jamie, don't know if you know, but um, Viv is uh, Gareth's partner. I do know indeed. No, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying your opinion should change, obviously. Just no. Just make sure I don't start my old yeah. uh, chat lines. <laughs> We've got 11 8 to uh, Gareth, 11 10 to Gareth. That's a new phone. Can I, can I see that? I'm just trying to bring it up on the laptop for you Thank as well. You. Ah, there we go. So you'll see them pop up as they, as they happen now. <laughs> Thank you. Played that nice, needs a little bounce. I don't think it's gone up. I can see it now. <laughs> cool. It's still fine, he just stunned across the. We're all about making it easy. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Jamie. It's a lovely shot. Settled in nicely here, guys. Absolutely perfect. 2 0. 2 0 to, to Gaz. Dunst the Fleming game isn't streamed, but if you hold on a moment, I'm going to go and uh, check the score out. That's all right. No, 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 Jamie, look. Oh, look if you want to stay here, then uh, we can just check it on Q score. Oh. All mod cons here, Jamie. Uh, where have we got check it? Check this technology out. Dunster is 8 7 down to Mark Fleming. Of course, that is uh, banking on it being updated. Jack to break, frame three. A shock result for me was Ma Matt Lawrenson 11-6 against Tom Cousins. To be honest, it wasn't that much of a surprise to me. Matt Lawrenson is not very well known around here, but he is a, a great nine ball player right, and has okay. been playing eight ball for years. Right. He's, he did quite well in China last year. Uh, I think him and Gareth got to the last 16 in China. So, um, well, he's obviously proved he's obviously a yeah, good definitely. cueist. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I just I just uh, seem to think of Tom Cousins as being that much of a machine that 
Yes, of course. It's just a shock to see him lose at any point, really. <laughs> I agree. Although, although he is human in the Players series when uh, he was on the hill against Liam Dunster, and I think he was it was 10-5, I believe, and Liam took him out. Yeah. It was an astonishing display of ball from Liam. Very, very good. Nothing can be taken granted in this game, can no. it? It uh, can change on a sixpence. Yeah, definitely. Does that even make sense, change on a sixpence? But you know what I mean, swing on a sixpence. That's <laughs> right, we can make up our own little uh, <laughs> little sayings. Yeah, Paul, Paul is a funny old game. Like For instance, last night I felt like I didn't play my best and I won, and today I felt like so much better yeah. and I actually got destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was the score? It was 11-4. And I missed one ball in the whole match. Oh dear! Who did you play? I played Ross Fernie. See Ross, Ross when he's on the on his game, it, he doesn't miss much. To be fair, he's Scottish. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I went in off from the black and uh, feathered the white, and I uh, made a push shot, and then three mistakes, so three frames that ain't going your way, going to the other person. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's a massive swing. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Yeah, not bad, your bloke, is he? Well, <laughs> <laughs> as a commentator, I shall remain unbiased, but you know. <laughs> Now, that could be the commentator's curse now. What have you done? No, not at no, all. No, what you like? Nah. Although it did, it did, in my opinion, run slightly far on that. But does it matter when you're Gareth Hibbert? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> to be honest, he, he hasn't played the best shot there. He, he's no, it's gone a bit he far, he hasn't it? He has, however. He's if he play, If he plays this long ball... Then they they flow naturally anyway. That's right. He's just got to drop this in. Trust his uh, good cue action. And he's got to leave himself a long cut. In this long cut, if he knocks it in, he should come down and land on the black. Fast table though. Lots it's of funny traffic. It's funny Lots of it traffic. It's funny as it sounds, because it's such a fast table, holding it for that black, even though it's right down at the other end of the mm. table, is a bit of a task. It is, yeah. He might be looking at coming back down. It, I don't know if he can... Or potentially uh, screwing into the red. Yeah, coming back down off the, off the bottom cushion. Holding on that red. Oh, he's held that uh, lovely. Well, Boom. again. Drag, there we are. Drag, Just perfect. Dragged it in a little bit of check. W what does it matter when you go out there? 3-0. 3-0. Well, people. Score predictions. What were they again? A lot of game left in this, however. So I said 11-6 six, it's it's six Gaz, didn't I? No, I'm pretty sure he said it the other way around. <laughs> 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 Sounds like Ronnie on commentary. It's I actually think when, you, when there's two players of this standard, it's basically down to the break. Yes. And it's, it's yeah. down to who gets the chance first. Yeah, 100%. The other way around, if Jack got the braces at the break, got the chance, I don't expect Jack to miss either. No. Hello, Terry. Yeah, I, I, I've got a similar ability to Ronnie, but it's not actually Ronnie here. <laughs> a similar ability uh, as him in what? Chess? Commentary. <laughs> Commentary. <laughs> well, on the one show, Ronnie wasn't very complimentary, was he, about our our sport no, in the slightest? Wasn't. I saw that. What did, what did he say it was I like? It was like. Well, he said playing snooker was like uh, playing uh, uh, the Augusta or the the Open in golf. As opposed to playing crazy golf if you're playing pool. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, crazy golf is a difficult game, so <laughs> lots of twists and turns in that game. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Forever love the positive it. there, Jamie. That, uh, I love it. You couldn't have twisted that analogy to be any more. Are perfect. you in marketing? You should be in marketing. I should do. You sell, sell snow to do Eskimos. You know, the, the interesting thing is, I think that is actually an interesting take on it because. Paul is very much more like there's little twists Absolutely, and turns, yeah. whereas snooker a isn't so much like that, snooker is it? Snooker is like golf, where you've got, yeah. you got a lot of space, a lot of room, you're in yeah. two areas, where Paul, you've got a lot more congestion, you have to be a bit more pinpoint. We should call it mini golf rather than crazy golf. Yeah, Cheeky it yeah. sounds a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's Ronnie, you can see what he likes. True. What like? Well, that'll do. I'm not going to take out that black for the one ball seven because it's just not worth enough money. It's up to him, isn't it? Yeah, He's Ronnie O'Sullivan. Definitely. Well, it's starting to look like these reds might be a bit of a formality as well. Is he right on that? I think he is. Looks like it. Yeah, he is. He's got loads of room. I mean, 
I, I don't know about loads. I'm right behind the shot. It is very tight, but he's just on it. And just is all you need. Just enough. You can get through. You can get through to it, but it's yeah. going to be difficult getting on the last red. He hasn't actually played that very well. I don't think he's so very happy. Right, that. okay. Well, he's got uh, he's got an option here. What about if he, he plays <laughs> the ball that's on the... Hold on, let's go back to the normal view. Well, plays the ball on the right-hand side, up to the top pocket, and it and it nicely drifts off the cushion and round for the other one. Yeah, that could be the shot. As an alternative, just thinking that it is a bit difficult to hold from the ball in the middle. I think that's the only shot on there, mate, because I don't think it's going to hold unless he's going to jack up and play that in the middle and cannon to yellow, which, you know, yep. I don't it's think that's the right He's shot, actually so. got two two options. He could screw back off the cushion for the w for t taking the other ball into the middle, or he could come he could drop around in, yeah. it. Yeah, there we go. that's what I thought. Does that red go past the yellow? It yes, does it indeed. does. I told you my eyes are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for the share, Kevin Moyles. You absolute beauty. <laughs> Oh, okay. Where's the black going? He's going to oh, chip on. that in the middle. Do you reckon? No, I reckon top Take left. Take it long. Yeah, top does, left. Does it go to long? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have a little... Uh, deceiving, deceiving. If it goes yeah, long, it does. Oh, no, definitely. <laughs> Flies in, son. Then again, he doesn't usually do what I ask, do I tell him to, so he'll probably do something completely different. There we are. Goes oh, to look, the middle. going in the middle. <laughs> no way. That's a great cut. Shot, Gareth. That's 4 0, ladies and gentlemen. Jack really needs to get in the game now. So, me and Jenks have been discussing the whole setting up and split. Now, the shark rack creates that perfect rack, and I, I actually love them. Um, however, we've also found that if you rack them really loose, so that they're not just a millimetre apart, but a few millimetres apart, right. you, you actually get an equally amazing split. Every time? Pretty much, yeah. I didn't know that. It's a bizarre, wow. it's a bizarre thing, but I think when they're, when they're just a mil apart, they they kind of slap against each other as they connect. So one ball will hit the other, and it will re the ball the ball that the object ball that it connects to will rebound back into it, and therefore create a, a kind of deadening of the of the impact. Whereas if they're a little bit of distance apart, say like two mil, then it's got the room to be able to create a force and an, and yeah, I can and understand your theory. Um, and, it, and it really does work because I always thought, Jenks, how can you break? So massive every time, but yet he really spends no try time trying to set just them up. He just rack. he just throws them in, and that's it. it and it I've been it trying it, and it really works. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what a referee's decision on that is on them not being touching, but I mean, at the end of the day, with <laughs> the fact that it's hard to get them touching, then there's it's nothing in the rules that said you know yeah. they have to be touching. Do you know, um, that if, if that top ball's not touching, it ain't automatically going to be a bad split. Oh, no, no I, I mean I mean not just the top ball, but if none of them are really focused together. That that's a, takes a bit of an art in itself, not having any of them touching when you put them in yeah, a triangle. But literally just slapping them in and just rolling them forward. and making Is he good at breaking? Make. Yeah, he is. Regardless. He's got, yep, he's, got a, he's got a massive break on him. Might be his, ti his timing's very but good. I, I either have to have them absolutely touching, perfectly touching, like with the shark rack, um, or... I've, as I've found out now, have them very loose, and it works. I'm not. I'm not sure it's Jenks' timing. I think he just puts his whole gut behind the shot. Yeah, right. I, th I think it just it's hits it really hard. Forty-seven yeah. ton with. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's it. He's only got to gently move forward, and he to gets a massive split. To, to, <laughs> to the power of ten, wallop creates explosions. Is he here? No, he's not. He's, he's, uh, not play he's playing on the. He's playing on the Leicester tour. That's why we can oh. talk about him. <laughs> uh. 
This has got to be so frustrating for Jack. Was that Jack's break as well? Yep, I think he went dry. Just like I said earlier, didn't we? The break is so important. Got so carried away. Forgot to show who's, who's on what colour. So, where does this black go? I thought you were hinting at me earlier. Oh you well. were just telling people. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought it was like a... He's on red. He's on no, red. no, no. I'm just sitting here chatting away. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. We show whose break it is with the, with the white ball. Okay. Show who's on and that's what it's called. Okay. Thank you. Oh, then, now then, he's which pocket's it's this well one going in? I think he's got to cut it back into the middle, hasn't he? Yeah, he's gone a little bit higher then, but... Well, it was a, t it was a tough one, because I think that's pretty much the only pocket it goes uh, in. Yeah, it is the only pocket it goes I in. I still fancy him for this. The way he's queuing, definitely. Wow. I need some more glasses, everything. Indeed, wow. Well. Five nil to Gaz. Some exceptional mm. ball being played. So I play on the Southern England Blackpool Tour, and um, Southern England one, yeah. Yeah, and uh, and uh, sometimes also commentate on that uh -huh. just for a bit of a laugh. And uh, me and Team Daly were commentating on Andy Lucas's game. I can't even remember who was playing. Dean is so funny. He he, uh, he refers to J Andy Lucas as the um, Chuck, Chuck Norris of Paul. Oh dear. <laughs> and uh, he said, and he, he said, no, Jack. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, yeah. In off from Gareth there. Yeah. And uh, Jack has his chance now. He does. And actually, they're all looking nice. Mm. Absolutely. Plum, he's got no real issue here. The only bad so ball is obviously not a bad ball. Well she's got three shots. So yeah, can play, yeah. play the red onto the yellow to pop the red. Then you've got the yellows open and nice and easy. Bring it back off the cushion for the uh, for the middle pocket. And this should be Jack Whelan off the board. From Jack's point of view, he just wants some table time, doesn't he? He's been sat down for Definitely. five frames, so he needs to get his arm in. Sorry to interrupt you. were telling me about Chuck Morris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Dean says... It it doesn't matter what pocket he's going for or what ball he's going for. He just moves them with his moves the pockets with his mind. Oh, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the man can never miss. <laughs> so much fun. Andy Lucas is a world champion as well, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Mm. He's a great player. He has, in my opinion, the most unorthodox cue action, apart from Lee Washbrook. <laughs> um, and and it doesn't look like. Andy really is that bothered about the game or it doesn't look like he just takes his time at Very all. Relaxed. He just he just gets down and just does his thing and pots the balls and it's just awesome. not a bother. It's it's never a trouble. And that is Jack Whelan off the board. Nice to see. And Jack to break. For a lot of natural players like that, it's actually hard for them if you actually did com uh, concentrate on the shot, it's actually harder for them to make them clearances. If you just get down and play them and believe in the shots. Yeah, I fully agree. Mm. I absolutely fully agree. Sometimes when I get into um, into the mode of, of playing well, I just get down and play the balls and, and it doesn't seem like... Too much thinking gets in the way. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's a problem and I can just play one ball and I know I'll get onto the next, um, leave myself at even the slightest angle, I'll just manipulate the white and take them out. Uh, and yet sometimes you can step up to the table and you might not have the same level of confidence and it's almost like the table becomes lo longer, the pockets become <laughs> smaller and you've for almost forgotten how to get the how to play the game. I know you were saying about this yesterday, weren't you, weren't you Jamie? 100% mate, yeah, 
I'm a believer in that myself. That's why yesterday, when I was a bit nervous, I was taking my time, but it was just making my game h- harder work, I felt. Yeah. Mm. Jack's potted off the break now. Ah. And all of a sudden, he's back in the room. Yeah, uh, he is. And then reds are absolutely lovely. Hi, Kelly Reardon. No, this isn't a money match. Um, this is the Murphy's English Open, and it's a big tournament that we've got going on. Um, I will actually send the link for the Q score page so that you can see what's going on. There's a, a house full of exceptional Jack's players rest, here. Like you suggested, Jamie. Mm-hmm. House full of exceptional players. And he's on his own uh, tough red now, so it should be easy work for Jack from here. There you go. There's the current Q score setup, so you can see who's playing who. The only slight problem will be uh, getting on the black. Not that it's going to be much of a problem for a player of Jack's class, but. From above, I'd be yeah. Uh, flies look. If I you look, f- if I you look from above, it's 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 not you're not even tight, Jamie. After dropping these two balls in the middle, um, I'll be playing for the plant after that. So I think it'd be a lot easier screwing down that side of the table to get on the black, rather than playing the one over the hole, then the one along the rail. So let's see what he does here. I think he might play for the play for the plant. Yeah, it make life a lot easier getting on that black. Unless he plays this to the middle with a uh, with a touch of side. A touch of right hand side. But what I mean is, if, if, if he plays, yeah, if he plays that in the middle and he, then he plays the one over the hole, you, that that one trying to get on the black, uh, it'd just be a little bit difficult. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You ain't got to play the part. If you can get very curious now, get on that ball now. But you want you want that one over the hole for last, really. Jamie Close, our internet here is absolutely impeccable, um, so it must be an issue your end. He's not played for the plant. It still won't be much of a problem, to be honest, but I just thought it would be a little bit easier to get down for the black. Screwing down the side of the table, no balls in the way, rather than a... It was a natural angle, wasn't it, to go down there? That's yeah. right. I mean, he's still fine now. He's, he's coming off a cushion, isn't he, to go back? Uh, no, I, th- I think he's playing into the space, no? I think he's screwed towards the middle pocket. He won't go forward. He'll he come... Sort of backwards towards that middle pocket. Oh, okay. Just come, uh, just just missed that yellow basically. There we go. He's just missed the yellow. Yeah. He's fine. Lovely shot. That'll be the one and only time I try and call a shot because I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I'll just get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and two. now Jack's Jack's really off the board. Yeah. Top class stuff so far. I don't want to see this, uh, no comebacks. Here we were looking at getting the ball to break here and putting his foot on the pedal. Another dish from Gaz, that's what he wants. It's all down to the break. Didn't seem to hit those very clean. Didn't hear the crack that you used to hear. I mean, the only good thing about not hitting it clean is they haven't opened overly great. I mean, saying that, the yellows, the yellows are looking not too bad, to be honest. But is it on the yellow? He's got a long one if he fancies it. Well, well he's got an easy start with a red, and he's got a slightly harder dish, so it's a decision. It's first one to 11 in the main event and the loser side is first to eight this being the winner side so first to eleven
Jack's elected to take reds. <laughs> I assume the, these thought when the tables look like that, the yellows look easier to me. Was it because he couldn't get a starter on a yellow that he took the reds? Or do you think the reds are as easy? Um, I think the yellows were a little bit easier, yes. But then the black would have been slightly difficult as well. So And he had a slightly harder starter, so you could just call it a 50-50. Yeah. Player, okay. Player's preference. My good friend Lewis Calcutt's just won 11-8. Okay. Who did he play? Who are you playing? Um, I played Billy Webster, oh. 10, uh, 11, 8. Um, five, first five breaks of uh, the dry. Uh, it kind of got me. Went 7 3 up the little shit back. Um, language, um, Timothy. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, and I uh, managed a real loss six in a row. And yeah, ding dong. Right. He called him a shush bag because he, he uh. kept him quiet when he <laughs> came back. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it must just be my ears and my eyes today. <laughs> Update on some scores. The G4 score, I'm sure he played on the stream earlier. He lost 11-7 yeah, to Mark seven. Boyle. That's, a, that's quite. That's a good score, really, because he was something like five nil, six nil down. He, he must have yeah. to dug deep, dig deep, <laughs> to um, to get back in the game. Jeff, Jeff Allen. Yeah. So we've also got uh, Mark Fleming nine eight up on Liam Dunster. Uh, Andy Appleton trailing three frames to four against Rob Duncan. Do you know how to pronounce this name? Uh, no. Right. We'll skip that one. <laughs> I'll have a go. Is it? Geroid Gorman? Geroid O'Gorman? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Geroid yeah. O'Gorman? Is 5-4 uh, down against Scott Gillespie. Uh, Mark Farnsworth and Ryan Clark have just started by the looks of it. Dan Davey is 4-0 up on John McAllister. Um, That's another quite well-matched match, though, isn't it? That could yeah. be swings and roundabouts, because yeah. both uh, professionals, aren't they? And uh, Simon Fitzsimmons... 4-2 up on Ricky Jones. This is the key shot in this frame. Knocks this in. And, uh, it's looking very much like 6-2. He's cured it in lovely. I don't think Andy's quite 70 yet, Kevin Kelly, but um, definitely over 50. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is six two to Gareth Hibbert. They make it look so easy, don't they? They do indeed, yeah, they do indeed. It's like a second nature to these top boys. Just mop them up. Jack did have the first uh, chance in that frame and uh, he did miss a ball to the middle so yeah. that's what happens when you miss uh, you don't really get another chance at this level got a ball this time though yeah 
and he's uh, he ain't got a. Don't know. Looking at that table, I'd fancy yellows myself, but there's an argument for both colours again. Just. Does that yellow go in the bottom corner? You're no, does ask. the red go into the middle? That red does cut into the middle if so you wanted. So we could, yeah, does that red cut into the middle if you wanted the yellows? <coughs> Would that actually move the other yellow out? That one. It's hard to describe where the balls are. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um. The top red, as we're looking down on it now. That cut into the middle. It, it does cut into the middle yeah. indeed. Shorter distances in the reds, isn't there? Yeah, that's well, right, not that yeah. it makes any difference to these lot, but yeah, all, all the reds are absolutely plum to be honest, and uh, that that bottom yellow goes in the c bottom uh, white corner as yep. well, so the yellows are not too bad either. I, I personally, I would actually take the reds here now. I'm, I'm reevaluating it, but mm. looks like Jack's looking at the yellows. I think he's going yellows. Because with that first red, you cut it in the middle, you cut it into yellow, and then you're going to be moving your other reds, and it's a bit of a guesswork then. Ah, uh, he's taking yellows anyway. That's right, yeah. With the yellows, you know where the balls are, you're not moving them, so. It's only that yellow in the uh, centre of the table, that's only a slightly tough ball to get on. Do you have to move that red out of the way? Well, he's, he's, no. he's nearly on it now. He's, he's, I think he's looking at it. Um, but there is a free ball plant as well, he's looking at the plant. Oh, from the other side? Yeah, yeah, so I mean, there's a couple of options there. You look as nervous as yeah, I do when he yeah. said that to me. <laughs> Just been told I had to change all the camera angles, so it looks like we'll be sticking on this angle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Simo, you're part of the team now. Yeah, well, we're uh, trialling there. I'll have a little go in a minute. Simo sponsored by Elite Able TV in this competition. I am indeed. Elite Able TV. So, so uh, you might not know Viv, but we ran a bonus ball, and um, the we had a little bit of a lack of interest in the last half of it. Mm -hmm. So I bought six numbers um, for 20 quid. And uh, Seb bought 70 pounds worth um, and I won. Ah, well. <laughs> and of course I'm streaming it and I get on really well with Simo. So I, I gave, him a, gave, gave, him him a, gave him a call and said, listen, um, I, I've put some numbers in. If I win, do you want to come and play? He said, yeah, of course. I, I thought he was because he uh, wanted to find the best player he could, but now it's because we're friends. That's, that's the real <laughs> <laughs> just, I actually just enjoy watching you fling the white ball around the table. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting miles on the cue ball. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, let's try these buttons. So yellows, it worked. Look, oh worked lovely. It. Look, yellows look quite easy from there. It's not very technical. Yeah. It's just one tap of the button, but is it? <laughs> it's very scary when <laughs> yeah. there's all this stuff in front of you. How's it getting on the block from there then? Well, he's going he's to play this one uh, that's on the left, on the right-hand side, into the corner pocket, mm -hmm. and then leave himself an angle to be able to just swing off the uh, left-hand ball and leave himself the black up the top. A long black. Why not? Oh, okay, no, no reason. That, that I just was there. Uh, that yeah. is keeping it single. You can roll this red in, roll yeah. the other one, leave a long black, or you can roll the uh, yellow, yellow. Sorry, you can roll the yellow in. And then play the other one and top it off the cushion and come in between the black and the other red. That is, that is true sat nav style. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I play. <laughs> I'm, I'd probably swing it around three or four cushions to get on that black, to be honest. Do you know? That's not what we... Yeah, he's going to play for the long black here. He'd just bump it off the cushions or even stun it in choices. As long as he gets a shot on it, it should be fine. Comes down to that confidence thing again, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, if if you're playing well and you've had a bit of table time, then you'd leave yourself that long black, no no questions whatsoever. I'd just be glad to get a shot on it, Jacob. Never mind, uh, actually pot it. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> Are you just playing pool shark and see if you get offered some games? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I'm a referee. That's a nice finish. Yes. Well done, Jack Whelan. 
players having a little laugh there. What are they laughing at? A little giggle. I always give credit to someone when they can have a giggle when they're losing. It's usually the person who's ahead who likes the little joke and laugh and that, you know. But when, when the I thought Craig was very gracious last night as well when he was playing you. He was there. He, he was indeed, yeah. yeah. You've got to be gracious in this game. It's only a game at the end of the day and Do you someone's got to win and someone's got to lose. You were there when uh, when Craig was playing in the on the IPA tour, weren't you? Uh, when I came and watched it at Coventry. Oh, in the Premier League? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you remember? He Can wasn't you quite that gracious. No. Though, but it wasn't on the table. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, of course <laughs> it wasn't. Um, it, I don't think he ever would be like that. But um, That was pure frustration. He's hit them quite well. Made the ball. Yellows? Yeah, let's have a little look here. I'd probably say yellows, but... Um, You'll probably take reds now. You will probably take reds now. <laughs> you have got one yellow on the cushion, tight on the cushion. Depends uh, Depends how you feel about working out them mm. four reds down the corner. I think three of them will go, well, four of them go in that corner. You can always drop on the other red on the right-hand side of the table in the middle, down that end. So you might take reds here. Yeah, someone's saying yellows every day. Uh, every day except for today for guys by looks of things. That's the difference between these top players and, and well, the rest of us. The path, they look at the table, see the path, don't they? That's right, They yeah, just know where, the, where it's all going. It can be deceiving sometimes. You can look at colours and think they're easier and you can, it can be deceiving. Yeah. But it is personal preference. At the end of the day, someone see a pattern and they uh, stick by it. There we go, it's going reds. <laughs> I have to say, I love the music at Murphy's. I do. It, is, it, it must is, be my age, but it is I think Tom's. like a time warp back into yeah, the Yeah, but 80s, I think Tom's it? choice is marvellous. I have to credit him. Yesterday, he was singing away. Love it. When Max Nosco and Jeff Allen were playing, I'm sure that they must have had a tape cassette. Well, you, you remember the old auto reverse on a tape cassette? I'm I think it probably had five tracks on it and it was just oh. turning and playing again <laughs> and again and again. It was like Groundhog Day. It was horrible. Oh, there's more than five songs yesterday. Yeah, there was. But I noticed actually that someone called out on the mic, you need to change the music. That was Mr. It was Papa Webb. Papa was Webb it? said the players were uh, struggling, but... I don't think he's perfect here, guys. This don't go absolutely clean, so he's looking at dropping this in and playing one in the corner pocket, which is also a bit tight, so that's why he's played it like that, and he's played it well. Drop that one in the middle now. So at least you see the shot. I just see a bunch of reds together, and I'd wonder how I would earth get round him. Oh, he's guys don't fancy it. He ain't dropping that one in the middle himself. But, I mean, you can get back on that any time. You can do it the shot later. But it's, it only goes in that one pocket. So yeah, guys knows what he's doing. Like keeping it simple, not moving away anywhere. That's the thing, isn't it? Keeping it simple all the time, not doing anything uh, rash is probably the... Drop, 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 drop. 7-3. Oh, commentator's curse, behave. No, nah, not here. No, you reckon? 100%. Without without cursing it, seven three. Well, I'd, we just said that, and um, I mean, he hasn't played that last shot absolutely perfect, but he's still alright. Stump past the red, slightly tougher black than what he wanted, but he queued this in no problem. Doesn't matter when you go out there, but. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, next up on the karaoke, we've got Viv Rusco doing um, this song that is actually one of those that was on repeat all the time. No way! It, which, on the plus side, most people must know all the lyrics, apart from me. 
because you're too young. No, because I've had to tune out because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to just do bad things. <laughs> Alright, Jack's potted one off the break and he's plum on the red. Potted a yellow. Potted a yellow and he's going to take this red down the belt. And then he's just got to mind his work, all the reds are there. A million percent taking reds here. He's just looking at the. Uh, he's just looking at the uh, route he's taking. Gonna give you that one. Sorry, Janet Jones, but we've only also got Q score to go by, so uh, we wouldn't be much help to you anyway. We're in a completely separate room here. Don't see any problems here, Jamie. Do you? Oh, I, actually, I don't at all know. Off the side rail and play the other red in the same pocket. There we go. And he'll drop the two balls in the same middle. Or potentially the one in the middle, then the corner, then the middle again. Depends what he fancies. Both work just fine. All depends on the angle he leaves himself here. That a little bit tougher than it had to be, maybe. A little, a little bit, yeah. I think, I think slightly he's awkward queuing. I think he's just about right, but he just overran that by a few inches. Nicely done. Yeah, he's queued that really well, yeah. especially from that position. There we are. 7-4, he's back in the game. Frame number 12, there we go. How long have we been playing? Uh, let's see. Sound here. <laughs> no, it just says nine minutes ago. <laughs> nine minutes? I don't think no. so. I don't think so either. Just out of curiosity, just to see. Yeah. 12, 12 frame in. It is 50 minutes. That's pretty good going, isn't it? There's also 186 watching on YouTube. Oh, marvellous. So, yesterday it was actually a massive margin of uh, Facebook watchers and not so many YouTube. Today it seems that people are, I guess people are at home today. Yes. And they're sat watching it. They thought, oh, I'll get this up on the telly. Mm -hmm. Watch a bit of Paul on the telly. Send the missus oh, out shopping. Right again. Send yeah. the missus out shopping. It's unlucky that <laughs> one. And the missus might be the one watching. It didn't go in directly. <laughs> put in your leg. In. <laughs> Too easy. Very easy. I'm <laughs> very, 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 very in favour of a ladies' pool. <laughs> I found out this morning, you know, the Joy Masters yep. that was on, that Gareth Potts and Clint Ianson were in, yep. won by a woman. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. Check she had that out. I know. She's 17 years old. Can't remember her name. Wow. She beat Clint and Gaz on, on the way through. No way. She had a one ball handicap, so her last ball she didn't have to part. Um, but uh, uh, the Joy, the Joy, I think it's the Joy Masters 2018 champion is a woman. Wow. That is huge. That's an interesting way of doing things, isn't it? Don't mm. have to put your last ball. I'm not sure. 
at that level whether she should be given such a huge advantage. No, I don't. But think even so, if that's the rule, she's played to the rules and she's beaten everyone that's uh, that is that's been in front of her. That is a huge advantage, really. Yeah. And obviously, she's played well to win it. But you usually, there's one tight ball on the table, there's yeah. one tough shot, and if you can clear up, that's and what just leave thinking. that alone. So even so, she, like I said, she's played to the rules and beat. Everybody else in the competition, she is the Joy Masters champion, apparently. Yeah, yeah still a uh, great going, that is, especially with the talent in it. Unless someone was um, slipping me a custard there. But no, no. I it think it's. So Lewis Healy's just said true story, 17 years old. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. 17 year old girl, fair play. And she actually played Gas Pots and beat him. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. But yeah, you could, you could literally just leave your hardball. Was it? Just well, that's what they the that's what the advantage is. That's what yeah. she she does. They, they they the girl gets to choose which one it is. And it gets taken off the table when you're on the black. Not not trying to discredit the uh, achievement by saying. But there's a book coming. Well, no, no, I'm saying you're not trying to discredit the cream, uh, achievement because it is really good by saying uh, oh, it's a massive advantage leaving the last ball because it is still a great achievement what she's done. To be oh there. right, okay, thank <laughs> you. Uh, Potts was going on about the one ball handicap look. Lewis well, it is massive. Yeah. It is huge, and there is an argument to say if she's that good, she shouldn't have that handicap. He's but he's just upset he got beaten by a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Something came up the other day, actually. I think it was probably George Tierney that brought it up because George likes to go at half on about girls, doesn't he? Um, playing pool, but um, as I said, there's lots of men that have been beaten by uh, by Emma. Cunningham. Mm. Jacob was obviously going somewhere like that, but he just got interrupted by someone. And he's having a little conversation on the sideline. What do you reckon to the table now, Jamie? Quite a bit of traffic, but is it is getting on that last red easy? Just yeah. ordering myself some food from somewhere else. Yeah, you should, should be absolutely fine here, to be honest. He's getting down the planet. Being a vegetarian yeah. of in, course. in the north. That's quite uh, That's quite tough. Not being discriminatory towards the north, but I find that in the north there are there are a whole step backwards in the ways of like presenting vegetarian food and all that sort of stuff. When someone starts a conversation with not being discriminative, they, they, they usually say something quite discriminative straight off. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not meaning to be insulting, but you're a silly person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till we're down the uh, south again before you start saying stuff like that, Jake. Oh, mate, I love it down south. Yeah. I've actually spent a, a fair bit of my life, Devon and Cornwall. A mm. little bit of time on the there east we coast. Are. As well. Seven five. I love it down south so much, mate. I literally live on the coast overlooking the sea. Nice. Very nice. Can't really get much souther than that. I used to love living by the sea. I, um, I lived in uh, Schleswig Holstein in Germany, um, a little place called Wassersleben. I had a, had a, uh, a little cottage that was overlooking the, the sea. It was about 400 yards away from a beach. Lovely. So why did you move? Um, <laughs> don't, 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 sorry, if that was <laughs> a personal question. Uh, <laughs> one, one of my ex-girlfriends went in the hospital with leukemia. I so I literally upped and left I'll just and that was that. Just, <laughs> just dig a big hole for and myself. And and I, I, never, yeah. I just never went back. I spent three months sat by a bedside and then decided that I wanted to stay here. Apologies. That's all right. You learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Many moons have passed since. It just seems like a dream place to live, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, back at the ranch. <laughs> Jack's broke. Two, three, four. Potted a red, I think. <laughs> Brilliant, Joe Howie. A woman fighting in the UFC next week. She gets a gun for the third third <laughs> round if she gets there. <laughs> Brilliant. Taking yellows.
we like to mix it up, Paul. It's only a small diversion. Yeah, these yellows are nice. Jack's going about his work well now. He's looking better in this match. Looked like it was running away from him for a moment, but he's got right back in it. You take these out, he's only one behind. It's all about, about the, been about the break, hasn't it, again? It has indeed, yeah. These top boys ain't going to miss much. It's been just one or two little areas, but you expect that in a long race to eight, uh, race to 11. Other than that, it's been faultless. He's got to mind his work here. I don't know if he's going to run that in with side, or, or can he just drop it in? If he can get his way with the fingers, yeah, he'll be fine. Obviously, he can just drop it in, bump off the cushion. Looks like he had a bit more angle than I thought, but... go seven six back in the game game on again Have a little, uh, let's have a look from a different angle for a change. See most pressing buttons now. See, see what happens. <laughs> Dry break from Gareth there. Have a look at the overhead one, Jamie. Um. Oh no, something's happened. <laughs> <laughs> something's going oh, on. Oh, they are. It's all right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what's he taking? I presume he's going to have to hit a yellow. Yeah, I mean, he ain't, he ain't got a lot of options, really. Dropping that yellow in the middle. It's quite tough with the white that close to the cushion. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that might be a wide pocket, though, in the middle. So I oh, yeah, off the red, yeah. If you read it a bit wide, aim for the far jaw, it, it should go yeah. off the red anyway, so... You just don't want to under, undercut it. And after that, yellows don't look too bad. No. They look very nice, to be fair. I'm literally pressing loads of, uh, loads of different camera angles now. I'm going to stop doing this in a sec. I'm just experimenting. Bear with me. I think that's to do with the internet connection when it does that. If we do that one, it goes back to the... Oh, there we go. Back to game. Didn't see the big button that says back to game. <laughs> 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 to be fair, it's smaller than the other ones. Yeah, it is. Mm. I think Jack is going to take this. Yeah, he's looking at taking the yellow to the middle off the red. Shout out to Peter Simmons watching. One of the greatest old school players on the planet. Any relation? It's my father. <laughs> Used to play for England in his day. Was unbeaten for England in 82. Wow. Oh, he's, oh, he's missed it. He's not played that very well. He won't be bit more that. pace, maybe. Well, a bit more mm. bit more angle. I don't know. He yeah. just, uh, he's just misjudged the line of that shot. These things look, look tougher than they are, though, don't they? It does indeed, yeah. It was so. a tough shot. 
I think he Still relied. Still I think he relied on that wide pocket too much and actually played for the wide pocket rather than just going for the pot. Yeah. Yeah, he's not happy with that joke. I think still yellows are the ones, yeah. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, no, nope, didn't work. <laughs> so Gareth has elected to date yellows. Be honest, mate. We're not too sure about the next stream game at the moment. Oh, Gareth just missed a yellow to the other middle. What was that all about? A little bit of lapse of concentration from both players there. Jack wasn't expecting to come back to the table so early. He'd be happy with his chance. To make it 7 0. Can't see him missing these, to be honest. Not at all. He's going to play that dead straight one in the corner, then play the other one in the middle using the wide pocket again, but you'd fancy him this time. And then the other balls are just sitting there, lovely. Well, he probably will do that, but he's going to mop up a couple more balls first. I don't think he's seen the wide pocket shot. He might be leaving the angle. I don't know, we'll see what he's doing now. I mean, he'll probably still get him, but I don't like the way he's gone about these this clearance personally. Different pathway than you would have chosen. I would have took on, took the, get the hard ball out of the way first. That's always my method. You see a slightly difficult ball, you want to get on that and then leave the ones in the centre of the table for after. I'm sure you'll still be fine though. Gareth was 5 new up Jack at one point. You see that in a lot of these big games though, don't you? Swings and roundabouts Absolutely. all the time. Absolutely, there's always going to be. No one's going to be breaking consistently. Off the yellow again. He's playing it now. Yeah, yeah he's but it now. You know, I'd, I'd have played it a lot earlier. It's making things a little bit awkward for himself now. Under hit that. Little chuckle to himself then as he come round the table. He's going to have to cue this in and send the white off the cushion and back across to where his cue is now. Played it nice. Don't want to be touching the cushion. Not he's too bad. Yeah, he's got a bit of angle. As long as he can top it off the cushion, miss that first yellow. He come up the table, lovely. I looked at it and thought, dare I press that? No, I don't. <laughs> Go for it. Can I break everything? Uh, can I break uh, anything if I actually press no. the wrong button? So All right. Press new frame once the frame is over. Change whose break it is. It shows whose it is it's on. It's got a green light and a red light. You press, press that one. Oh, it's okay. The score up by pre pressing plus. Game on, ladies and gents. I predicted 11-10 uh, for this game. We had a little competition yesterday, all the stream games. I got the first two bang on. I thought I was one off, but I got them bang on. I predicted 11-10 uh, win for me. And uh, the third game, and I won 11-9. And I ended up winning the little uh, £20 a man competition. Very clever. Yeah. Does this do the same as that then, or there? Score might not be um, correct, but that's because one takes precedence over the other. Yeah. I'm going to leave.
leave that technical stuff in your hands, Viv. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> okay. Jack to break, gets the ball. Frame 15. Where's the white ended up? He's not too bad. Again, I'd, I'd fancy them reds. Them reds are looking nice. Potted one of them each? Yeah. First one he pots, let's see. Yellows. No, he fancies reds. Looks like he was queuing up to the other one. He did for My eyes again. That was the crucial ball, wasn't it? Whether that went or not. Mm. Um, we ain't actually aware of the lineup for the stream today. We don't know who's on next at the moment. I was just about to have a look. Might choose it myself. What time's the next session? 4 p.m. So I'm actually not entirely sure <laughs> whether slightly biased choice there, I Jamie. I think that'd be a great game for the I stream. I think you've personally. already been on. <laughs> Shane Webster, Dylan Mitchell. There's also Seb Webb, BJ, Jeff Allen. Seb Webb's already been on. Yep. Share it about a bit, me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Tom Cousins, David McNana. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut then. McNamara. Did you love that? McNamara. That's what I meant to say. David the Banana. <laughs> McNamara. <laughs> Is there any more going down a bit? Uh, yeah, it goes on for the winners. I'm just. They're, they're I'm just scheduled curious. for much later, though, yeah, aren't they? They are, they are. I'm just curious. As to nice straight black for Jack. Easy. Straight black, straight red for an easy black. He's taking a lead. Is that a raking dish? Did Jack rake then? Um, yeah, he did. Mm. Yeah, that was for the breaking. That dish. was a breaking dish, yeah. I think Clark and Farnsworth. Uh, All of a sudden, it's game on. I think that was they on the two o'clock session. I think they're playing now. Are they? Yeah, I'm gonna be back in a minute. I'm gonna go and have a little look, look around. Yep. So I was actually looking to see who Lewis Calcutt's playing next. That'll be winners round at seven o'clock. That's not been decided yet. Our fan dad and Ross Finney may be a good. Yeah. Oh, Matt Lawrenson yeah. and Sh Chiffy. Sean Chippyfield. That would be a, that would be an excellent one. Yeah, it would. Nice break gun. Oh, he's got one. Jack smiled as that last ball went in. He was off his chair a bit, but then had to <laughs> sit down. Come on then, Gareth. Back in the swing of it. I just went and had a little look at the betting odds. I ain't had a bet in this tournament yet. I know everyone's having a nice flutter. Do you know what? That's a great idea. I was thinking about backing my opponent, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that called max max well, match uh, fixing? Honest, max I'll, I'll be I like that you know what you've got a, you've got you've coined a phrase there max max fixing, <laughs> fixing. match fixing max fixing. I'd actually be sorry, to win. Sorry, though. Max, I I'd love you, but I'd be planning to win. <laughs> I think you got two values. If if you win, you go through, and if you lose, you win a bit of money. It's like a bit of a no. I'm going to be happy either way. It's that marketing mind again. He's put a spin on it again, hasn't he? Yeah, it? but the thing is, Jamie, that realistically, if you keep winning, you could win a lot more money. If it's a cigar side. It's a big word there, isn't it? So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's side. a two letter word, but it's a huge ass. <laughs> Slap yourself around a little bit, Jim Carrey style. Yeah, mate. I thought <laughs> Maybe I thought not good. quite as extremely as him, but. They've got me as a slight favourite. Reds for Gareth. 
Gareth on reds. How many viewers have we got now then, Jacob? It's only I four games on it, four, is it? Absolutely no idea. Is it? 269 on Facebook. Yeah, you only had four matches on the betting. Maybe there's only four to go on then. Maybe. So the loser side. There's quite a few that haven't even haven't been lined up yet before. So the times oh, are, are mixed up, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. That'd be why. And so they're not done in box. Oh god, gotcha. there is there is more f um, four games here. Maybe mm. they've not finished yet. That's why he's not put them up. You don't know who's actually playing, which will make sense. So, who do you think wins, Seb Webb or Jeff Allen? Jeff's uh, Jeff's uh, quite a big favourite in that game, according to the bookmaker. But depends which Actually, Seb depends which Seb turns up. To be fair, Seb said himself that he's not playing particularly well at the moment, so Jeff probably is. That, that could all change match by match. Though I think every yeah. match is different, and I'm yeah, not, I've never been a believer of not playing well at the moment, as in talking about in the current moment in time, because the half hour later I could just pick it up and start yep. flying so yeah very true my very first true. my first match um, I won't go into that but I felt <laughs> I felt I felt a lot better today even though I got pumped so it don't always work that way Played that very well. And that is eight apiece. Eight all. Gareth Hibbert is back in the game. You feel we sort of needed that frame, guys, after yeah, Jack, he does. Jack had a nice little run of frames there. That's yeah, the best of five. Got a little slap round here from Donna. Prob probably deserved somewhere along the line. Me and Donna made a bit of money together yesterday. She predicted me to beat Marshy. <laughs> as well as Jenks. He had a little side bet. Crazy man, but it paid off. This is a great standard. Come on. That's a great break from Jack. Two reds. Yeah, no, I think he's uh he's he's going to be on yellows for this this one because you got one tough red, so there's no point playing to get it out. He's just uh it's not ideal, but I think he's he's, he's all right. If that is it touching the red, you think? It, I think it is, but if if that don't go past if the yellow don't go past the other yellow, then he just play the other one. You can play it in the top bag or the middle. Quick update on some of the scores. Andy Appleton is 7-4 up on Rob Donkin. Oh, oh Reggie Gill's uh, 
We're talking about the little live we done the other night. It was quite entertaining. That's the second clout round here in 10 minutes I've had. <laughs> um, Scott Gillespie and Gerard O'Gorman are six apiece. Mark Farnsworth and Ryan Clark are two apiece. Dan Davies, eight two up on John McAllister. Simon Fitzsimmons is seven six up on Ricky Jones. And Jordan Shepherd is six two up on Lee Mannion. Jack's not happy with that. Yeah, it's not a very good shot he's played there. Did he try and move the other red out of the way? I'm going to be brutally honest. I wasn't even watching, but just seeing where he is now, <laughs> it wasn't a good shot. Just by the expression on his face, he's not yeah, happy, is he? That's right, yeah. He needs to play a good one now. He'd still fancy making this. Of course. It's just sliding off the knuckle. I think it's going to have to go up for the one down the top cushion now. Bottom cushion, top cushion, whatever you want to call it. What is that, the top cushion? Or the we'll bottom cushion? call it, from the way we're looking at it, it's the top cushion, isn't it? Yeah, we call it the bulk end. It is the bulk end, that's why. <laughs> Saves the confusion. That's lovely. Bit too straight though. Tiny bit too straight, yeah. I mean, he might be forced to top this in, leave the white on the side rail, and then playing that yellow into the bottom left uh, pocket. It's, it's a better way of getting on the black, unless you want to screw it in and where he's putting his cue now. I mean, I don't know. It depends what he fancies. We'll, have, we'll, we'll see what he uh, see what he does. You referring to me, Paul? Not knowing the game. I'm a bit of a noise, mate. Sorry about that. to the top bag a little bit of angle but just found him to get it <gasps> commentators curse mm. must be feeling it a little bit Jack this must be tough they both know each other very well that's right yeah it's, it's tougher on the stream as well than when you're playing out in that room. It is a lot tougher. It you know, does make a lot. difference. People don't understand, do they? They've been there, I guess. That's right. I went from practicing uh, the night before, flying, walking around the table, putting everything under mile an hour, to coming on here and playing on the stream. And my, my arm was just nothing like it Pressure was the night before. Pressure is a, is, is, is a weird thing, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it really is. Strange what it can do to you. I think he played it hard, Robert, for... It wasn't confidence. easy. It wasn't no, easy, it wasn't though. Easy. Sometimes people crunch me in just because uh, it saves you twitching. You've got less chance of twitching it in it hard. But sometimes you try and force that confidence. You know you're feeling a little bit. And you, uh, you try and force it and try and make things happen. It don't always work. One thing being confident, it's another thing trying to be confident.
Well, he got an opportunity he should never have had then. Big frame. And that made was big good frame. use of it. You've done all the hard work, Jack. Mm. Could that be a turning point in his head? Who knows? You never know. You heard it here first. Nearly four o'clock. I'm on in a minute. Really? Already? Four o'clock? Mm. I look forward to my next game. Who are you playing? Uh, Jordan Sillett. That should be a good game. Yeah, yeah. Jordan's um, from Essex, isn't he? He is indeed. I think he plays... Um, Basil and Aero, is it? Essex County. He plays Jimmy Carney and yeah, um, I'm sure he does, yeah. Rob Donkin. That's right. Yeah. I grew up around that territory as well, so I haven't lived there in the last 15 years, but I know all them boys quite well. I don't like the sound of that break. Doesn't sound right to me. No, he's made a ball though, that's the main thing. He used to break with his snooker cue a lot of the time, but now it, uh, his sponsor gave him that, so he, he feels obliged, I think, sometimes to use it, but it seems to work. Yeah, if it works for him, then yeah. fair play. Not as uh, spread out as you'd like them, though, really, are they? A bit clustered. I think it's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, you, sometimes you can feel like you're a mill and they don't spread, you know? Chosen Reds. Okay. Which button do I press? That one. Trusted a bit to look there. Yeah, I think he needed to. He had to try and make something happen. And it hasn't worked out the best. Thanks, Dominic. Shot. I don't know whether it's uh, done him any favours though. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think we have the overhead honest. one. I mean, I can't not got a shot there really. I well, at all. <laughs> the only thing I can see is coming off the coming off the black and putting it in the corner. But at the same time, you don't want to plant that black in the middle or do anything silly. If he comes off the black, it's hitting the yellow. Yeah, it looks like it is, and it's tight. Definitely. When is Simo on next? That'll be me. Uh, I'm on in a minute. First to 11, Della. Yeah, Lloyd, mate. I'm uh, I'm playing Jordan Sillett. Um, four o'clock. Don't know who's on the stream. There's six games on at four. We don't know who's on the stream yet. It'll be Shane Webster, be Dylan Mitchell up on the stream next. Oh, we do know then. Yeah, Shane versus Dylan. Who do you think will win that one? Um, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I don't know a lot about. Either player. Okay, fair enough. I've seen Dylan play a lot. Dylan's done quite well, uh, very well on the Northern Tour. Okay. Um, uh, for me, he would be slight favourite, but I haven't seen a lot. Like you say, I don't. I haven't seen Shane play. Yeah, I know Shane's, Shane's not as good as his brother. Obviously, Seb's the better of the brothers, so.
Nice one, Lloyd. I won't be on the stream for that game, but I, I will be on the stream in the final, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love your confidence, Jamie. Maybe even the semis too. We have got our own Ronnie here, haven't we? Definitely. Even got the accent as well. Yeah, definitely. I've had and so many people say, mention Ronnie, not only my voice, me a snooker, but you might laugh yeah. at that, but I, 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 I am quite a natural quick player and I do knock a lot of tons, so. Obviously, I'm miles off his ability, but I've been compared <laughs> to him, which, is, which does my ego at the world of good. Yeah. <laughs> I was working somewhere, and uh, this lady said to me, oh, you remind me of Ronnie O'Sullivan. And I, I was like, well, funny, and I, I played a game as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's that little laugh. Yeah. That's what does it for me. Key difference being that you enjoy pool as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually yeah, enjoy yeah. the pool, yeah. <laughs> Not the crazy golf. <laughs> nah, that's it, yeah. Mini golf, come on. Oh, sorry, we did. We Im improvised that, didn't we? Um, we've got Jacob, who runs the show in the commentary. We've got me, Jamie Simmons, otherwise known as Simo. Me, Viv Rusko. Viv is uh, Gaz's wife, I'd say, or... Fiance. Fiance, okay. Nearly married. Ooh. Halfway there. <laughs> when is it? We're probably just going to stay there, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good enough, isn't it? It's cheaper that way. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I'm actually a wedding photographer. Are you really? Yeah. I'll bear that in mind. Right. If and when. We should have a look at my work. <laughs> right, Jack's having to think about these yellows now. Many strings to this bow. Well, I'm actually going to leave the commentary box now, so... What? <laughs> what is this behaviour? Oh, will you behave, Dominic. I'm not used to people being nice to me. But, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, and I'll uh, catch you later. Yeah. Good luck in Thank your you match, Jamie. Yeah. See you Good later. Luck. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye-bye. All the best, mate. Get that Elite Able TV top on. Yeah, I'll go and uh, fly the flag <laughs> now. He just wants to see my body, really. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing with these yellows then, Jacob? Uh, well this, this one him? down the line goes. Oh, does it? Yeah, he's left himself an angle to, to pot it. I'm directly behind it on the table. Mm. Oh, I think he was counting on the big pocket there. Right, an opportunity for Gareth that I don't think he isn't expected. It isn't it funny, sometimes when it's tight like that, you overcompensate trying to make sure that you the don't, pressure, hit, the, the don't pressure hit the ball. The all the time, even the top guys. Yeah. Making sure you don't hit, don't just snick that other ball. Mm. And because you've uh, tried your hardest not to snick the other ball, you've actually gone completely the opposite way and you've missed it completely from <laughs> the angle that you wanted. So what have we got here now? Let's have a look at the overhead. Mm, it's a bit tough. It is. There's no simple shot on there. Question is, I know. Can he? Can he move past the black? He's looking at it. Oh. Mm. It's not bad. Jackie's going to have to cue this one somewhere. That's a very obvious statement, isn't it? But I mean, cue nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's obviously got to try and pot it. I, I it. like completely ambiguous uh, <laughs> statements like that. Um, so Alan Dale, Gaz Hibbert's a very like very likable chap and very approachable, no ego whatsoever. He uh, is. I think that's very true. From what I've seen. Good shot by Jack that is there. That is. <laughs> I like that little penguin tap. Come on, come on. Keep going. Give me an angle. Let me see the angle. There we go, nine apiece, I think. I don't think he's missing this one. No. So he's got his top on. 
Simo, would you play Seb at Murphy's? Well, he played him at the corn, so I don't think he'd have any issues with playing him again. Simo's not here now. Um, He's gone to get ready for his uh, next big match. Viv loving the tunes. Oh, I do. Enough, not what Jack would have wanted there. Again, break. No, and it's a nice split as well. He's only really got a, uh, one small problem area to sort out. How about this? He takes reds. <laughs> he takes reds. Okay. He takes reds. Yes. And, um, Where's he, he started? Hold on a minute. Let me just switch back to the normal angle. He takes reds. He plays the um, the middle red then into the yellow that's near the bag, freeing up the bag, and then they're all open. Maybe. Just a thought. Because yeah. if he plays that, if he plays that red onto the yellow. Yes. That's down at the down over the uh, pocket. He will the yellow will bounce off the left hand cushion and over towards the other one that's on the bottom cushion. Mm -hmm. And his red will have will have probably have ricocheted off the bottom cushion and land somewhere near the black spot. Um and then all It's the that free shot that could, could that could make Exactly. I think it's, oh it's knowing what to do with it. I played world rules for years. Uh, for so, like so did most of us to be fair. Fifteen years. And um and I think coming from world rules into black ball has been quite an ad advantageous thing for me. Because um, you're a fudger. <laughs> no, not at all. No, <laughs> completely opposite, actually. But I think I consider the use of the free shot and, and all of a that. A lot more Possibly than a lot of people would. Th yeah, beca would. because it's a new thing to me right? to some degree. Um, so, yeah, I think I, I use that shot potentially sometimes. So he's uh, used his free shot to move... A red, so we could go yellows. Yeah, fair enough. I ju uh, do you know what? I actually just thought that the um, the yellow on the bottom cushion for me was enough of a problem ball that um, it would have made me choose reds. And Rob Holt, unless you're going to get up here and get on the mic, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? Cheeky git. He said yellows all day. Please bear in mind, the commentators are giving their opinion on what they would do. <laughs> and I just saw it that there was only one problem to sort out if you wanted to get reds. Everyone can see it when you study it. Well. <laughs> Nice to see you joining us anyway, Rob. Where's Rob from? Uh, he's from uh, Bicester area. Oh. Well, he's originally a northerner. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. My favourite new friend has just brought me some food. How good is that? Um. Come on, Viv. Give us your opinions. <laughs> I'm not. I don't call call shots. I'm not getting. There we are. 
slightly biased there. <laughs> and there was that massive pocket. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Did you see how mm. how it w- it wasn't that it hit it, p- it hit the jaw or the cushion particularly yeah. far up, but the way the angle that it hit it and mm. still went in. Mm-hmm. Wow! So I played on this last night. Oh, did you? oh yeah, till half past uh, three this yeah. morning. And um, we played a shot where th- the ball hit the cushion at literally on the bulk line, and it still went in. Oh dear. <laughs> That's it, 10-9. That was huge. 10-9. Whose break is it now? I think that it's Gaz's game. Just calling it now. Mm. Needs to get a ball off this now. to break. In what could potentially be the last frame. Could be. All depends on this shot. He's got one. He's got two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Two yellows. And the red. Ten nine to Gaz, Reggie. bit of Rick Astley. Right, reds for gas. Simo's back. Who's 10 9 up? Gaz. Gaz is 10 9 up. And I know. Just got another little bet. First bet of the weekend. A little double with me and Seb. Two bashers. Hardly bashers. Well, bashers compared to some of these boys. Seb's got a tough game, but in the day, it's a two horse race in it, man versus a man, so I like the odds he's got. Just don't give up control of the table, do you? Just stay at the table. That's it. They can't, can't win if you're, pl- you're playing the balls. Exactly that. It's not like tennis where they're bashing it at you and you're bashing it back. They're actually sitting down at the time, so you do your own thing. I'd play anyone, but my only concern is when I set up games is raising the money for it, because I only ever have a grand or two, and everyone wants to play for these five or ten grand. So, you know, there's some people I fancy beating, but if other people rate them, then I always feel like it might be a struggle raising the money, so I avoid that game. Look, I turned up and played Seb once, then I? I had three grand of my own money on that game. I went to his venue. I've only just started practicing anyway for the first time in two years. I've been milking it for a few years, just turning up to money games. 
getting my cue out, having a 15 minute warm up and playing, but now I'm practicing a little bit. I've had two sessions recently, so putting a few more of them and uh, hope to my game picks up a little bit. But I've already got four games uh, lined up at the moment so for the rest of the year, so I'm not really thinking about playing anyone else at the moment. First game's Craig Day in two weeks. Less about me because we're at the finale of this match. Guys are taking a long time looking at this shot. Yeah, that red don't go in a lot of places, that one in the middle of the table. Has that actually passed that yellow in the middle? I don't know. Unless Let's have a look. Unless he's playing a double. It doesn't know, so he's, he's got a double here for the match basically. Oh, there. shot. It's a great shot. That's under pressure as well. Yeah, that's beautiful. So, Simo, they're calling you to play Neil Britton. Great finish. Yeah, you can, people can call me to play anyone, but I'm the money match king. I'll choose who I'll play and I'll keep winning them. I don't need to play anyone that's half decent. Plenty of people want to step up and pay me. <laughs> well done to Gareth Hibbert. Well Join Gareth. us. Join us next for Shane Webster v Dylan Mitchell. Uh, should be around about four o'clock, even though it's gone for. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Thank you, Biff. <laughs>